before I uh, handle this, I can share with you, I think this is, uh, I will share with you my personal perspective because I believe and I hope you have your own perspective on, on startups. Anyway, uh, and uh, I believe that startups are those companies which are really advancing and pioneers in terms of technology. So, uh, uh, I remember one, one story uh, about technology. It was, I think, in the 50s in, in, in uh, Europe, actually in a village in Slovenia, when uh, it was the process of electrification. There was no electricity in the villages and so on, only in cities and towns. And uh, these electricians came in and uh, there was an old lady she was uh, asking what are they doing and they said we are bringing to you electricity this is nice and this is really helping is going to help you and she said okay fine and they did it all what had to be done and uh, what uh, what happened was then okay and what's about this and they explained how this works and so on and later on they came I, I think it was a week later uh, it was her family and uh, they uh, asked how is, how is she and so on and he said, you know what, I've got now electricity and they said yes and what about electricity? And she said, now, you know, we have this, how do you call, switch, okay, yes, switch and uh, you know, now I just do this and you see it is so bright in the evening that I can easily find my matches to uh, light my candle. <laughs> So uh, it took her probably until the end of her, uh, I hope, long and, and, and quality life to understand what really is about technology and uh, the use of technology. So uh, such stories brings us, uh, bring uh, to us back, uh, let's say, the sense of technology and so on. Uh, I'd just like to tell you something about uh, what we've been doing, maybe it is different, maybe it is not, but in, takes it, in, in case it helps, I'm, I'm okay. If not, let's go forward. Uh, in Slovenia, we, our startups are only part of, let's say, kind of ecosystem, uh, which is based and very well connected to also researchers. And uh, while we are here, we've been also on Knowledge Expo uh, last year introducing this concept, inviting not only startups, but also, let's say, more established companies to come to Slovenia as a, let's say, central point in Europe. And I will tell later some maybe differentiators which would help you to understand why or even motivate you to come. Uh, I don't think this is much different to any picture you, you, you've seen by now about or, or technology parks and so on. And uh, same goes for the numbers. I mean, they could be higher or lower and so on. And uh, what, it, what, what is maybe different is uh, that we do have different kind of, uh, of course, gigs and so on. We do have different programs. We invite venture capitalists. We do workshops and so on. We have... I, they actually they have met many uh, many different gurus and you know they are talking about how they succeeded and so on but what we found is basically it is all about always technology it's okay but then you ask how much of how many sorry of the uh, startups are successful and usually they've been asked uh, where's the money and that's the definition of startup so until you find the uh, business model, you are a startup. Nevertheless, you have 100 employees or you've been around for 10 years. So what we did differently, actually, is uh, we are in the central, let's say, Europe, where we have cultural diversity, though in India, I think it is much bigger as well. So we don't have power cuts, happily, by, by now it's okay. We have 100 plus megabytes available uh, not only in uh, uh, technology park, but in many places as well, which are not directly connected to, to or related to technology park. Um, you are exposed to permanent education because the complete city of Ljubljana is a university city. So in all the places around, you can find different types of, of, of uh, 
faculties. It doesn't apply only on ICT or, or uh, let's say, electrical engineering and so on, which are typically what we have the, the structure of attendees here. Uh, in, in Slovenia, English, speaking English, you can find children. My kid is, what, 15? He is chatting all over the world. Uh, he knows uh, lots of accents, uh, from Irish to, I don't know, you name it. And uh, my daughter fluently speaks Spanish, which is uh, even, I think, more people speak Spanish in the world than English. Though, if in India, would be, all Indians would be speaking, it would be hard. Uh, yeah, international airport is, is only 15, 20 minutes drive away, and this is a highway drive. So it is 15, 20 minutes, almost, I mean, 99% guaranteed. And uh, yeah, almost uh, every time they, when people visit uh, Slovenia, they say, wow, it's like Switzerland. I say, no, why not? <laughs> because the mountains are not so high. Uh, borders are a little bit closer, but to some extent, yes. And we do have some sea, though it is like, you know, the distance between um, here to Gurgaon. <laughs> okay, I've been to Gurgaon, so I can say Gurgaon. Uh, but still, it is Adriatic Sea. There's a port. Uh, our ambassador was talking about the port. It is an actual international port for uh, car delivery or any other goods. And uh, it is much, much less expensive than Switzerland. So it is perfect country for you if you wish to live in Switzerland when you will, when you will make money eventually out of your startup, okay? <laughs> so, okay. And uh, it is in Schengen zone. Uh, Switzerland is not. It means once you got our visa, you can travel 28, 29 European countries, except Switzerland. <laughs> <laughs> you see, that's the, that's the barrier on the market. No? It's hard to enter that market. Uh, what we do differently, or hope we are doing differently, but not because to be different, uh, but just to uh, really improve the, the sense of, 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 of uh, why technology doesn't matter really, and it's not in the first place. Uh, there's a living lab uh, uh, network actually in, in Europe, and uh, our institute is part of it. It means that you live what you're doing. And in Ljubljana, you can see that Ljubljana already gained, I, know, I, I don't know how this could happen, but uh, it is uh, a European Green City 2016 already. I don't know, obviously they are some so, so, uh, so forward. Uh, so why is this? Because uh, there were made some real improvements in terms of how people deal with the uh, uh, city and vice versa. And our next plans, this is not something that worked, but you asked, I've been asked for the perspective, sorry. Okay, this is the last one. So, because we like, we, how, uh, we like to engage the entrepreneurs, the startups, to live there and to tackle those problems they leave. It means if something bothers you when you are around in the city, living and so on, if you tackle that problem, probably the outcome and the success of your startup will be much higher than if you are solving or trying to solve those problems which are somehow you think you understand. And if, if it's personal, it matters. Uh, it doesn't mean that if you are solving any other problem, you, you, you will fail. No, no, not at all. So, but it helps you understand some things which other, so the insights you got is important. So, and what do we have in this respect is IoT Maker Lab, actually, a, though it is established and started this year in, in University of Electrical Engineering in Ljubljana, it is prepared already with all sensors available. This is what Jure, uh, my colleague, all, all, also explained. And this is available at university at no cost. So they are not dealing really only with, with sensors and connections and so on. They can simply use it. Why? They do have in a group which work on a particular problems. They do have two or maybe three electrical engineers, computer scientists or students and so on. But the other 70% of the group are either enge uh, engineers from urban, uh, let's say from architecture, from design, economic studies and so on. Uh, even behavior and, 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 and 
so on. So to understand design and so on, so to understand what is going on and how to make this product work. And they go with these products, I don't know, maybe three, four, five uh, uh, pilots they got, they go around, demonstrate, they try it and so on. So this is one thing. Another is, as I mentioned, so with these pilots, they do what they've been doing all the, the time they, they go around in the city. Another thing is what we see is um, there is a, a kind of kind of hole or, or there's no connection between startup and SME. What we do is in very early stage of startups, we are connecting them with different clusters, Cl business technology clusters. These are, uh, let's say, informal um, groups of SME, larger companies, which are doing already established business. So they exchange this information, which is not only related to technology, it is related to markets, to opportunities. This is where open innovation is going on. What does it mean, open innovation? It means that usually bigger companies, smaller as well, you have, even each of us have a, if you open your drawer, there are, there's a bunch of ideas you had or you have been having by now, never tackled once you had it, you put it simply in a drawer and it's there. But it could be a great opportunity for someone, somebody else. So these companies are now exchanging this information, what they already tried, but never bring it to, to the end. And this make, it, it, it means that you are taking something which has been already to, uh, brought to some level. Um, we've been considering there are different cities already opening data. We heard today that uh, also there are some data available. There is some data available uh, in, in Delhi as well. Uh, this is really important that city engages through open data. Uh, it means that as a service provider or making any solutions, you can take this data under certain conditions, of course, and use it, recombine it for your purpose. I mean, uh, temperature at some, uh, some place in city could be used for different, different applications. So this is then making this city alive. And uh, it also simplifies the interaction with citizens. It can be done already today. You don't, you don't need actually IoT. Uh, all, I think, 95% of people in Delhi, okay, maybe less, but uh, they, they got uh, iPhones, uh, Androids, and so on. They can use these phones on a simple application just to, I don't know, to send a photo to, to, to not to government, but to local uh, authorities and so on. So this exchange can be done if there's a will and if somebody will take some actions on this. If not, then forget it. So, and why I'm here is the last point. Uh, we are there and trying to go international. It means that international is out of Europe. And uh, I'm really glad I had opportunity to talk to you here. And I hope I'm finished five minutes earlier than I had. I think it was 15 minutes. So we can go on and uh, this uh, session will finish on time, okay. at least approximately. Thank you very much. So if there are any questions, um, right now I can answer or uh, Otherwise, you can go to our embassy and ask them. <laughs> no, <that's laughs> joking. No, but uh, we cooperate with them. You saw that uh, our ambassador was here so yesterday. And uh, okay, thank you very much. <laughs>